friends. Uh, thank you everyone who has been following and listening along as I yap about my opinions of very many, many different things. Um, but one of the requests that I had in recently was talking about friends with benefits. Uh, so someone asked if I'd ever had a, a friend with benefits or if I, you know, thought they were a good idea. And this is what I have to say about friends with benefits. So first to answer your question, uh, yes, I've, I have uh, done a lot of naughty things with my friends and uh, they've only been successful when I do the following. And I highly recommend that you at the very least soak it in for a little bit what I'm about to say with this. Um, I've also asked a few friends, had some, uh, some backup here with uh, how they've approached these situations and the ones that have gone wrong. So uh, first, communication. It's huge. It's huge in everything in our life. You've got to lay down exactly what you're looking for. Uh, you have to be perfectly clear about boundaries, um, about rules, because even if you're thinking, oh, friends with benefits, there doesn't need to be rules, right? No, you can just do what you want when you want. Yeah, sure, but a lot of times that does end up messy for one of the parties, if not both of them, or all of them, uh, whatever the case may be. When you aren't laying down these rules, it's very easy for lines to get blurred and um, expectations to set in. And so if you truly want it casual and you want to say that, you know, I will be playing around with other people, I don't want to discuss it or talk about it with you you know, this is not a dating situation, this won't lead to a relationship, you know, whatever the case may be, maybe it's that we're not having sex, we're just fooling around, maybe it is that, you know, we only have sex and we don't hang out, whatever the case may be, when you lay down those rules, it does help to kind of guide things. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that things won't evolve into something else and you have to definitely make sure that you're ready to keep in communication. So by that I mean check in. Check in throughout this friends with benefits situation. If you are starting to feel like things are changing or um, with, for them, or perhaps they're changing with you, it's very important to immediately address that as it shows up and say, hey, you know, I feel like I got a little jealous maybe when you when you hooked up with somebody else. And uh, so I, I wanted to make sure that you understood I had these feelings. You're not telling someone those feelings and expecting them to change something, especially if that's not something that you've discussed. You're just saying it to be upfront and communicate. And then together you can communicate whether the situation can go on from there. Um, it's very important that you establish whether or not you are open to a relationship in the future with the person right away. Do not approach a friends with benefits situation of, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, if, you know, that could give yourself hope, it could give them hope. And if one of the parties is absolutely not interested in that, it can lead to some sadness and some heartbreak break with that. So definitely make sure that you're upfront about a relationship at the very beginning, along with the rules and the boundaries that you're setting forth. Um, another thing that I would highly recommend in a friends with benefits situation is to not, to not go telling people. Because a lot of times the influences from our friends, from our families, if they know that you're being intimate with somebody, their opinions can start to come out and press on you, whether it's teasing you or whether it's telling you that's not a good idea or whether it's giving you information that they might know about that person. To, you know, whatever the case, when you're getting that outside information, it can start to impact something that you've communicated with that person and that you might feel very confident about. You can start to see that crumble or start to wonder or start to get people's you know, opinions in your head sometimes, if they're teasing, if they're calling them your, you know, your lover, your partner, you know, only you should be able to define that relationship with your friend with benefits. And it's no one else's business what's going on there, as long as you're communicating with that person. So whether you're already in a friends with benefits situation or you're looking to have one, I hope you take some of this advice to heart and uh, have a blast, have fun, communicate uh, a lot and often, and uh, it should and hopefully will be a very healthy and fun situation for you. So happy playing. Thanks everybody so much. I look forward to chatting with you again very soon.